Oh, my goodness. The biggest news of the day, gosh, in celebrity gossip, I would say we've got that that ID channel. You can watch it on Max Quiet on the set coming out this weekend, which is Nickelodeon stars and specifically Drake Bell. Um, this will be a big one to watch. Revealing the horrible things that happened to him as a child actor and just the, uh, you know, you've got other stars, I think, that are going to be on there like Jeanette McCurdy mm-hmm. and her experiences. Um, and so that's going to be really eye opening. I think it's very important for people to hear these kind of things, though it might be somewhat depressing, not very uplifting. I think it's really important for us to pay attention. Oh, absolutely. To this, you know, and definitely uh, like Drake Bell holding something in and being private about something for so long, his whole life. Mm-hmm. Um, he now gets a chance to, you know, speak his mind. And um, yeah, so that's coming up this weekend. Um, other than that, that voice you hear is Paul McGuire Grimes. Hello. Yes, it's Paul so is a you. movie critic. You can go to his website, Paul's Trip to the Movies dot com. Yes. If you are just a listener of the podcast and not the radio show, you might not know who he is, but he gets to interview celebrities and review movies and TV shows and um, yeah. I've got some big interviews coming up that I'm very excited about. So okay. hopefully people can tune into those, Paul's Trip to Movies dot com or on YouTube, Paul's Trip to the Movies as well. Great. All right, Mike. You got any blind items? You for forgot us? about the other thing about Paul is he's oh. fantastic at blinded by <laughs> oh the Oh my items, gosh. So. Yes, you've know, been on the show before when I you filled in for me. Yes. Yes. It, so it's Bradley and I doing them. Mm-hmm. And what's funny about this concept is we Orion and I play my husband and I play the home game. Oh good. And I'm terrible at it. <laughs> he will literally read me the clues and then I act like a big dumb dumb on the couch and can't get them. And then Mike, when you read them for some reason. Oh. Boom, they come to my You've head. been doing a great job of it. Let's see if Thank you can you. continue it. Let's play a little blinded by the item today. And to start it off, we're going to begin with this. A foreign-born singer hates their placement in a recently announced festival. They think they are a bigger name than another former born a foreign-born A-list singer mm. uh, who is going to tell her that she absolutely is not as big of a deal. Oh. God. So we've got a foreign-born singer that hates okay. her placement in a, uh, f- a foreign festival. I'll give you that as well. A she thinks festival. she thinks that uh, she's a bigger name than this other foreign-born A-list singer uh, who's going to tell her she isn't. Is this the Glastonbury Festival? Uh, that's the right festival. Wow. Correct. Nicely done. Okay. You got the festival. Now you remember, without looking it up, who was uh, named... I did not see this story. I'm going to go with, is Rihanna one of them? Very good guess. That's not it. Is Is, Adele one of them? No. Is this foreign born to them? Like, does it include Americans or just foreign born to us? Um, You know what I'm saying? Like, from the perspective of British people? (laughs) Oh, no. Both would be considered. Okay. Well, that's a hard question. Yeah, yeah. foreign born. Okay, I mean, so not, we're to, not British people right now saying, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because I get what you're saying. saying. Yes, okay. yes. Right, no, right. not foreign born. I will say, actually, in the case of both of these people, nope, correction, one of these people would no would not be foreign born to a to Brit. She's British. Okay. Just say that. Adele? <laughs> no, he already guessed that. Oh, and that's still wrong. Sorry. Rita so Ora. No, not Rita Ora. Okay. Think of our... And this is a tricky one because she's technically British, but um, oh. has some other... Uh, Dua Lipa. There you go. Other influence. Wow! The English Albanian singer Dua Lipa. Now, she is the second part of the blind. Oh. So we've got a foreign-born singer who hates her placement in this foreign festival, which you've already mentioned. So she must be like... So this first one must be like second or third place. Exactly. She thinks she's a bigger deal than Dua Lipa. Who's going to tell her that she absolutely is not... Uh, Camila Cabello. Got it. Wow. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. Yeah. So Camila Cabello is a part of this festival, and uh, it sounds like she did not love her placement in said festival. She uh, thought she should be up there and have her name right next to Dua Lipa's, and who's going to tell her that's probably not it? Dua Lipa's far, the far bigger star right now. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Far, far, far bigger okay. star. She's going to dance the night away. She's going to. Yes, all Back right. The show. I don't know who else was. Uh, I think Coldplay was also a part of it. Oh, I'd love um, to go to this. Uh, SZA, Coldplay, and Dua Lipa all headlining the festival. SZA would be fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, June well. June 26th through June the 30th. June 26th. Mm-hmm. Want to go? I'm busy. I do want to go, but I've promised myself I need to 
pay off some bills before I do a vacation. I don't think I'll be able to do it by then. What if I tell you Cindy Lauper is also going to be there? <gasps> okay. Along with Avril Lavigne. Ooh. Oh. Eh. Skater boy. I said, see you later, boy. <laughs> See you later, Glastonbury Festival. <laughs> yeah. I bring those I two know. up because I don't recognize anybody else in the oh, lineup okay. because that's how boring and old I am. Let's no. do another one. <laughs> if we talk you're about this, younger than both well, of them. I know, but we talked about it the other day. You, if you want to know if you're cool or not, if you can recognize the Grammy winners, you're, oh, you're still cool. I'm screwed. I, exactly. No, I haven't been cool for a yeah. long time. Or like the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And I'm like, who you are you people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm old. Yeah. Instead, let's jump to uh, an Oscar winner. This Oscar winner has played nice with the A-list reality star, but those close to her know that she felt slighted and hates anyone who tries to join her industry. We can only imagine how she's going to be talking about the recent announcement from another A-lister. Oh. Is Kim K the reality star? Nope. Is Kylie Jenner? Nope. So it's not a Kylie and Timmy situation. It is not. Uh, is this an Oscar winner? Yes. Okay. From this year? No. Oh, just in general. Uh-oh. We got to go back into the list here. Um, all right, so we have an A-list reality star. Yeah, let me uh, read through these here for you again here as uh, we take a look at this. We've got the this Oscar winner has played nice with the A-list reality star, but those close to her know that she felt slighted and hates anyone who tries to join her industry. We can all imagine how she is taking the recent announcement from another A-lister. Okay, so... Oh, no. I wonder if we're thinking of this too um, specifically. So is the Oscar winner like a, a musician uh, and no. doesn't like these A-listers? Some, okay. Nope, not Diana that Warren, Warren, nope. But. Mm. Hmm. See where you're going with that, but no. no. Okay. Is this Oscar winner a producer? The Oscar winner, um, I don't think. Okay. Perhaps, but, that's not but not what she's won. known for. No, no, no. Okay. Is it Nicole Kidman? Nope. Okay. They won for acting. Okay, they did win for I acting. I will say that okay. much. I'll give you that, yeah. They won for acting. Okay. So me, uh, and this is a woman? Yep. Okay. This Oscar winner has played nice with the A-list reality star, but those close to her know that she felt slighted and hates on anyone who tries to join her industry. We can only imagine how she's taking the recent announcement from this other A-lister. So we got three people to We've got three about people here. to figure out. You've got an Oscar winner who's apparently in some sort of an industry. Okay. She played nice when a reality star who's also A-list joined said industry with her. And we can only imagine how she's taking the recent announcement about another A-lister joining the same oh, industry. Oh, is this a Gwyneth Paltrow like lifestyle? Oh, God. Um, yes. So it was um, so, Poosh. One of those with these, the middle. Yes. Oh, Who had Courtney. that? Was that Courtney? Who's Courtney? There you go. So you were very close with your Kardashian guest. So, Megan Markle. You got it all. Yay! Nicely done. Yes. All right. Oh, so, yeah. again, Gwyneth Paltrow has played nice uh, yeah. when it comes to Courtney Kardashian, but those close to her know that she felt slighted and hates on anyone who tries to join her lifestyle brand, you know, oh. industry, if you will. We can only imagine how she's taking the news of uh, Meghan Markle's announcement. Oh, gosh. I mean, aren't they friends? They live like down the street from each other, I feel like. Well, they could and should be friends. Yeah. American Riviera Orchard. Orchard. Oh, yeah. Or, excuse me. Orchard. Yeah. There's the go. Uh, is an ultra trendy and uh, legume based spreads, edible oils, and fruit butters brand. Is that what is up there now? Because so far it's very vague. It's just like a. It's just like there's nothing yet. Oh, it's like that's... sign up for to be on the wait list for this website and i'm yeah, like okay um, Lori signed up for it yesterday yeah i heard her literally emailing it during the and show and the instagram page is just all the pictures are just the the logo in pieces right yes so. yes. according to a trademark application uh, oh. obtained by the daily mail it's going to have a lineup that includes edible oils and fats jellies jam spreads made of legumes garlic and sesame as well as nuts and fruit butters so it's more like fruit it's foodie yeah. than foodie based <laughs> than like um lifestyle clothing um fabletics athleisure type i have that it's home garden food and general lifestyle wares these are conflicting sources. Either way, I can get everything at Target. Uh, here's, 
I you- love celebrity brands. I don't. I have not announced this quite a bit. Oh, um, do I have an tell. obsession with celebrity bands, and this is something I tend to keep to myself. But like, I really want to try Corny Cox's Home Court cleaning products because they look great. I also am obsessed with Michelle Pfeiffer's fragrances called Henry Rose because they're unisex. <laughs> But I have zero interest in some of these other lifestyle brands because they seem so gimmicky where the others don't to me. Wow. We also have some of Jessica Alba's Honest products Right, for which our weren't so honest. Really? Yeah. Didn't they find out that they weren't all like Uh-oh. clean products? And well, so it was the opposite of that, honest. That to me is they not like... Trouble. I don't necessarily go for the clean per se. We They were, they were just nice. We, yeah. we like them. Yeah. So I will say all of the reports we've talked about are accurate. I'm actually looking at the uh, trademark right now. Uh, tableware, uh, they've got knives, forks, spoons, and cutlery. Then they go on a little further to identify coffee services Ooh. as well as um, tea services in nature of tableware. Again, this is very like, this is how you have to word these different uh, <laughs> licenses and yeah. trademarks that you're yeah. doing. Textile tablecloths and placements, also napkins, uh, linens. But then we get into the jellies, the jams, all of the different food It's Martha food Stewart based. line. Yeah, it really is. So okay. maybe, it's, maybe down Cookbooks. the road we'll get some of these. Like Cookbooks. Up, yeah. up front we'll get a couple products and then as the year goes on we'll get more. Martha so. Stewart, I mean, she oh. has something for everything. She has yes. like Christmas decor. She has dog products. She, she has, has great sheets. Sheets. <laughs> she has um, cookbooks. She has food line. She has a line of everything. And you can get all Crafts. her recipes for free online. Recipes. Yep. Yeah. Everything. That woman. Well, maybe Martha's it. the one who should be upset and not uh, Gwyneth in this yeah, particular it's blind funny. item. You but... don't, Martha doesn't get a lot mm-hmm. of flack for as much as she does. Dolly has. Do, uh, the, the gorgeous Dolly Parton has a line of. <laughs> Dog stuff and baked goods through Duncan oh, yeah. Hines sure. and books and all that. Yeah. Well, all right, let's do another one. Here's rolling through the blind items. You guys got that one nicely done. <laughs> she was one of the front runners to take over on the reality show for a fellow A list musician. Oh. But one of the big issues is the producers feel she is now so unrecognizable, the credibility that she brings will be lost on the audience. So is this Someone is Idol? This. It is Idol. Replacing Katy Perry. It is. But who is unrecognizable? So let me say it again. She was one or she was one of the front runners to take over for the reality show. You already got she was one of the front runners to take over on American Idol for Katy Perry. But the producers are having issues because uh, she is so ec- unrecognizable right now. Any credibility that she brings will be lost on the audience. Oh. Who's had and a it's lot a of fellow, work done? And it's a fellow A list musician. Oh. That's also part of the blind item. So she was J-Lo? One the, she was one of the front runners to take over on Idol from mm-hmm. Katy Perry, but uh, and she was a fellow A list musician. But one of the issues the uh, producers are having <sighs> is she's so unrecognizable right now; her credibility would be lost on the audience. Christina Aguilera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she does not look the same. <laughs> Somebody made the comment. She. she She's Christina Kardashian now. Yeah. Because like you, we've talked about, they all go to the same place. Uh-huh. And once you get a they certain... They all start mo- looking alike. They do. Looking it's alike. Holly- she, yes. Google recent image she of okay. Christina Aguilera. She is tiny. Right She's tiny. She has a severe jawline. Her cheeks, you know, like, it just looks so manufactured. Okay. And again, in this, you know, oh. usually I skip these blinds that are specifically attacking somebody's looks. But again, right. in this case, they're talking about the fact that, you know, would even the audience recognize her and say like, oh, I that's don't. Christina Aguilera because... She, you're absolutely she right. She looks like a different person. She looks like a little bit of Megan Fox and a mixed with Khloe Kardashian. Sure. I'm trying to find a good photo of what I've seen her like recently. She was on Drew Barrymore show, so maybe I can find that photo. And I was like... That does not look. There like was you. one of her standing in front of the Grammys backdrop that I saw, and yeah, I was just like, that's what "Is I'm that what you're looking at?" at? It's yeah, like a blue I, dress. Yeah, I don't. I that's a completely yeah. different person. So that's um again. Hey, you know what? She probably t- feels really pretty and really good. I'm right sure now. she right. does. I'm I sure mean, she, that's what matters. Yeah. If she's comfortable and happy, if, great. she's probably feeling great. Yep. And the TV industry is the TV industry, though. And if they're sitting there as producers saying, uh, people won't even know that this is Christina Aguilera. Is it worth making a massive $20 million a year investment like Katy Perry just got done having? I don't know. Well, but it's kind of weird. Item. Yeah, that's a blind item. I mean, yeah. once she starts talking and speaking and moving about in real and time and we're For sure, of course. just not looking at her yeah. from a, you know, 
just an image, mm-hmm. people will know. Like you said, it's a blind item. Yeah. But there you go. That is uh, the most recent from who could potentially be replacing Katy Perry. Good one. Let's move on and do another one here. <laughs> Speak. Uh, actually, let's talk about. Uh, let's move on to foreign born a foreign born actress. This for, former A list actress from a massive franchise keeps trying to land roles only she wants. She keeps getting offered roles she doesn't want anything to do with. Mm. In fact, one producer offered a role that would triple her normal fee that would pay her in the range of all of the A-plus listers. But apparently she also would have to participate in a sex scene that she did not want to do, so she turned it down. Is it ScarJo? It is not ScarJo, no. Is it Jennifer Ah. Aniston? Nope. Okay, foreign born act- franchise. Foreign born actress oh, foreign born. from uh, oh. that, that is a former A list actress from a massive franchise keeps trying to land only roles she wants. She's not getting offered any of those roles though. That's why we haven't seen her. One producer has offered her triple her normal fee, but she didn't want to do it because of uh, some of the content she'd have to. Okay, okay, I have an idea. What you yes, got? was she in a Star Wars franchise? She. This is a popular guess, but no, that is not uh, that it. one. Daisy Ridley is where you're yep. going. Yep, totally okay. going Daisy Ridley. Popular uh, guess, I think, in the blind. Is this world, a, but... a franchise, a TV role, or a? Is it a TV role? Here's your hint. Not yet. <laughs> oh, so it's a movie franchise that could become a TV. Not could. It's is... going to be a movie. Nope. It's going to be a TV, TV show? show. My God. It will have nothing to do with her, though. Okay. Oh, um, this is sounding familiar now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. A massive movie franchise with a foreign-born former A-list actress. But it's we haven't seen her much because she's only getting roles she does not want to participate in. Oh. Is this a Marvel universe? Nope. Mm. Mm. Is it an Avatar universe? Nope. There's a no. Bond. No, we're not getting a James Bond TV show. Um, there's usually one other universe that goes with those three Star you just Trek. mentioned. Nope. Oh. DC? Nope. Oh, it's probably so obvious. It's so obvious. Dune. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Without her, who is then not coming to a TV Oh, show? gosh. Um, and, and it's movie franchise. Mm-hmm. Mm. Is it like a current franchise, or am I going to have to go back into the, like, the Lexus? Let's go back a little bit. Okay. okay. Not a current franchise. Fast and Furious? Drive too fast. Drive too <laughs> furious. <laughs> nope, not that. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. Was she the star of the franchise? Yep. Oh. I mean, one of. One of. Oh, is this Gal Gadot? Nope. Oh, that's a good guess. Um, Fast and Furious. Mm. Not DC. Marvel? Nope. Oh. When you think of massive franchises, usually Star Wars is one that's talked Star about. Trek is another. Marvel is another one that's Bond. talked about. James Bond. Bond is. And then there's also oh, a particular Lord. world that's a world. wizarding. A world. Harry Potter. Emma Watson. You got there. Emma maybe, Watson maybe doesn't want to be nude. Uh, Leave uh, her alone. According to this particular blind item, uh, Emma Watson uh, from a man's massive franchise uh, keeps trying to only land roles she wants. Nobody's interested in giving her those roles. Apparently, she recently turned down one that would have tripled her normal fee, which Whoa. is would have made her like paid the same level as the Tom Cruise's of this world. That's and right. um, she basically turned it down, though, because she didn't want to get naked into a sex scene. So a movie that's going to be. I, I don't know. feel like. Good for you. You for have sure. enough money. Stick to your guns. Yes. And we do not need a Harry Potter TV show <laughs> no, for all the don't. obvious reasons. <laughs> Who was the... There was an actress from the Harry Potter universe, and I'm not super versed in it. You know, I just saw all the movies once. And she said, these people that are still stuck on Harry Potter oh, need to grow up. Miriam Margolis. Oh, yeah. She was yeah. like, they're, they she, need to let it go. She's What's great about her, she has zero filter. And gives zero Fs. <laughs> <laughs> great. I will say anything that comes out of her mouth. <laughs> well, I have to look into her more. Oh, she's great. Get uh, she's She'll be on like Graham Norton's show and she will oh, open up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Let's do another one here as uh, you guys roll through the blind items. Today, we'll go to this one here. This foreign-born B-plus-less actor has stopped seeing his child 
because his a minus list girlfriend doesn't want him to have any interactions at all with his ex. Oh, oh no. So we've got a former or excuse me, a foreign born B plus list actor who stopped seeing his child because his a minus list girlfriend doesn't want him to have any interaction with his ex. Again, this is according to the blind items. Oh. Well, I don't like this one. I don't either. Me neither. It sounds like I a new girlfriend else. getting in the way of him seeing his child. That's mm. exactly what the blind item is That's saying. That's shady. Oh. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Is this a Do we know Joshua that? Jackson? Judy yes, it Turner is. Yes. You nailed it. Whoa. Lupita? No. Again, I don't know. It's the blind items. I don't. It's a fine line like between that. Truth and insanity, but uh, uh, this foreign-born okay, Joshua Jackson has apparently stopped seeing his child mm. because his new girlfriend Lupita Nyong'o is not uh, wanting him to interact at all with uh, Jody Turner Smith. I love all three of them. I mm-hmm. don't like this news. This is uh, this the situation was a little icky because it's an icky situation. he moved on literally the next day. There were always released. reports of him cheating, which I never liked. I mean, he was seen with Lapita Nyong'o so, like, the next day, yeah. and we're like, oh, well, they have to be just friends, because he isn't doing that, is he? <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, moving on so quickly. Yeah. yeah. It made it seem like he had moved on before right. he was supposed to, yeah. and that could have been the cause. I'm just guessing. Uh-huh. We've talked about it. It was like a trip to the grocery store or something, and then yeah. you're going back home together. You don't do that with your friend. No, you don't. No, my grocery <laughs> shopping is with my daughter or my husband. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not any of my friends. No. You're, you're gonna I make wouldn't those even groceries think with. to call them. I'd be like, you want to go grocery shopping? No. Mm-hmm. That means you're doing it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now you're going to give all the secrets away. It's kind of exciting. Brian's going to be like, who are you grocery shopping with? <laughs> when you like, move a relationship to the next level where you're in the grocery store together. I remember I went to Costco with MC and he held my hand. Oh. And I was like, so, wow. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Oh my God. Because there's like you're opening dork. up like these are the products that I buy. These are the foods that I yeah, eat. Yeah, and I yeah. might buy these pants that are six dollars. <laughs> I'm officially giving up this career, and I'm going to go to grocery stores and just be a paparazzi. And just, Absolutely. Like, this is how we know well, this relationship is real. Yeah, some of those um, Hollywood grocery stores that are like you know trendy. Yeah. I can't think of I the mean, names right I'll now. I'll never forget about when Tyra Banks just happened to be coming out of one and just happened to announce that she was leaving the Anthony the Stars mm. and happened to announce that she has an ice cream line that she's working on. Oh, my God. How, did, how was your paparazzi just happening to be there right that <laughs> yeah. very moment? Somebody called. Somebody so called. so much to say. All right. Do you have um, one that's quick? <laughs> yeah, I got a quick one okay, here. Let's well, go with this one. Okay. Uh, this is another level when it comes to fragile fragile ego you hire a guy to take a different approach and give a different perspective to your company Mm. the second he does just that and makes you look bad you fire him oh this is don lemon and elon musk yeah very quick and easy one there you know good job i don't think there's too much of a blind item there but uh, according to it uh it's another level of fragile ego when you uh hire a guy to take a different approach and give uh x a different perspective and then the second he does just that you go ahead and fire him but i'm like don lemon why do you want to even have anything to do with elon musk he just probably needs a job right now. yeah i get that but like standards yeah yeah Shouldn'ts and shoulds. Like, don't partner he, with Elon Musk. I would say he probably got multiple offers, and this one was the most lucrative. Sure. That's the only way I can, you know. And say what you will, there's plenty of um, people in the political world who have jumped to X uh, for yeah, different reasons. their names are Tucker Carlson, and they're trash. <laughs> yeah. so, You're 100%. I don't know. But from a pure viewership standpoint, yeah. I'm not saying they're good viewers. I'm just saying <laughs> the numbers are insane. Yeah. Right. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, I think that's the maybe the reason behind it. <sighs> yeah. I try to stay off of X as much as possible, Same. but then our listeners are on there, and yeah. I want to communicate with them, and it just, you know. I don't know. Follow me on Instagram at Paul's Movie Trip. <laughs> hey, I'll I'm also on Threads. Yes, same, same. Yeah, at Paul's Movie Trip. Well, that was fun. Yeah, good job. Yeah, yes. good blinds, Mike. So we have a website, blindedbytheitem.com. You can listen to past episodes there. Also, wherever you get your podcast, Blinded by the Item. If you could like and subscribe, we would love that. Send us an email. Send us your blind items. And we will see you Monday on Blinded Blinded by by the Item. Item.